Smash Ball is in one week, and I'm so excited. Um, actually, I'm even more excited because guess who just decided to sponsor the Smash Ball? Kane Company, the makers of the actual Smash brand, are now an official sponsor, and they have sent tons and tons of awesome treasures and goodies to use at the Smash Ball, and I'm so, so, so excited. But a lot of you guys have said that you don't even know what a Smash Book is or what we do at the Smash Ball, so I thought I'd do a video. It might be long, um, but I just wanted to show you what they are and what we're going to be doing at the Smash Ball so that if you haven't gotten a ticket and you want to come, you can snag one before they're gone. Um, so this is one of my Smash Books. I did a little bit of embellishing on the outside. There's a little bit of fabric on the um, binding and some fun rhinestone trim. Um, but this is like the wedding one. They also have tons and tons of other ones. So inside, like, here's the baby one. And it has cute. Each, each book has different themes. So this one has like fun, like nursery type stuff and like baby, it's geared towards babies. Actually, yeah, this is the baby one. Um, so like cute little girl playing jump rope and feed me and like just cool ideas on how to document your baby's first year and that kind of stuff. Um, and then here's another one. This one's the doodle one. And this one has cool little cute doodle graphics and drawings and whatnot. But each smash book is like totally different. I kind of, I call them like a journal slash scrapbook hybrid because they're a little bit of both. And you can use this smash book for whatever you want. This one's their retro style, so it has cool retro pictures on it. But yeah, you could use it for whatever you want. You could do, use it as a diary. You could use it to document like a story or a trip or whatever, um, your kids, whatnot. Um, you could use it as a portfolio to show off some of your latest works. You could use it as like an idea book or an inspiration board. This one is the pretty one. It's one of my favorites. And this is actually my niece's. I stole it from her because she is doing such a cute job on it and she's so young and I was just super impressed. But um, another thing I love about the Smash books are there's no rules. Like you could do whatever you want. In fact, like you can see like she worked on this page and then she doesn't do any more pages until like further back, like back here. And you can work out of order. You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. In fact, they have like this cute little theme on the front um, that kind of tells you basically what to do with it. So I'm going to read it and I'll try not to sound like a total dork. It says, it's okay, just smash it in. There's always room just like the junk drawer. Nothing's right, nothing's wrong. It's all yours. We say glue in the gladness. A note, a quote, a thought to jot. A snipping, a clipping, the idea that's caught. A card, a regard, a tidbit, a smidgen, a doodle of a poodle, or the feather of a pigeon. It's the smatterings of ordinary, extraordinary life. Messy and beautiful. And pretty much that's the exact reason why I got hooked on this product, because it sounds so much like me. I am kind of all over the place, and I don't really stick to one thing. So having like a journal or something where there's no rules, and I can do it however I want, in whatever order I want, whenever I want, with whatever products I want. Um, and then, guess what? They came out with this little cutie. Hello, mini smash book. How cute is this thing? It's like tiny, little miniature version. But it also comes with cute little pages and fun things on the inside. Um, oh, also, each smash book comes with like these cool little pens. So like on one side, cool like marker thing. It's like a Sharpie, fine point. And then the other side, you got some glue. So you can glue on your cool little tags and keepsakes and notes and messages and stuff. And then on top of all that, Kate, the Smash brand has like all these super fun, that was not my phone that just fell on the floor. It's okay. Um, look at all these. These are cool like journal pads, like note card type prompts and stuff. And they all have different themes. So like this one's called top 10 and there's just like all these different card pages like top 10, this one's a blank subject, but there's like top 10 songs, top 10 favorite food, top 10 ideas, top 10 things you need and why, the list goes on. Um, they've got one for entertainment, 
So you can write down your favorite movies and songs and whatever. Um, this one's blank, so you're free to do whatever you want. Love this one. This one's the special occasions. So it's like, where did you, like if you t took a picture at somebody's wedding, it says like what you're celebrating, where, with who, why, that whole thing. Fun, fun, fun. This one's for travelers. So if you're going on a trip, you can write down fun stuff like where you went, when, with who, and where did you stay. Ooh, I love that cute little luggage one. How cute is that? Anyway, so super fun. And then another one, quotes. So you can write down your favorite quotes, famous quotes, or just stuff your kids say, or stuff you said, or advice your mom gave you. Um, so they have tons of these cool like note card um, pads, and we'll have tons and tons of these at the Smash Ball, and you guys all can use as much as you want. And they also have cool little trinkets. Look at these fun things. These are like page markers, so you can like tab your pages, or you can slip them over on pictures and whatnot. These are some more tags where you can like mark different things that you like. Um, I love these envelopes. I think they're so cute. They're like little tiny thingies with different messages and pictures and images on them. You can like put your son's lost tooth in it or a little hair or a ticket stub or whatever. Um, these are cool like note little stickies, yellow stickies, and you can write messages on them and stick them over pages and keepsakes and stuff. And these are like another cool way to like tab a page and you can like it hangs over the edge so you can say see like what it is like if it's something you want to buy or bake or make or need or want like this you can mark up a page so that's just a little tiny fraction of all the stuff they have they have washi tape they have cool stamps they have um, I don't know if you saw the rubber band because I imagine once you fill one of these suckers up, it gets pretty fat. Like, I, I don't know if you noticed, but they have a cool ring binder. So you don't have to worry about your binding breaking, which I love because mine will definitely be fat. And then once it's all super fat, you can shove this little rubber band on it to smash it all together so it stays shut. I thought that was cool. Um, but yeah, so that's just like a, kind of a small idea of things that you can expect to ha uh, see and to have access to at the Smash Ball. Um, and then for some, for those of you who have never been to a Smash Ball because they are new and it's not really an official thing, I just kind of made it up. Um, basically what happens is once you buy your ticket, I'm going to send you this invitation slash gift. And it's like this fun little handmade um, teaser of what to expect when you get to the ball and you'll get a key so you can get in. And then once you show, uh, arrive to the ball, you'll register and sign in and you'll get a fun swag bag. And all the swag bags are always handmade and they're filled with tons of stuff. Some of it's like handmade accessories and whatnot from me. A lot of it's donated from our sponsors and some of it's craft and jewelry and whatever, but it's all amazing. And it's a lot of stuff. And then after everybody's registered, basically, it's like kind of like a reception, so like banquet seating. And then on one side, there's food and like appetizers and desserts and treats and drinks and stuff. And then on the other side is another buffet table, only it's not food. Oh no, it's like scrapbook slash craft materials of every kind you can ever imagine. Scissors, glue, tape, um, ribbon, lace, fabric, buttons, brads, metal little trinkets, um, embellishments, chipboard, letters, stickers, um, paper, I mean literally everything you can think of. We have tons of washi tape, there's going to be um, flowers and little rhinestones and jewels and um, just tons and tons of stuff. If you came to the first one, it's going to be like triple what we had at the first one and it's just going to be overwhelming and you get to take these fun little um, candy bags and take it up to the scrap bar as often as you want and just fill it full of stuff for free and then you can take it back to your seat and stuff it in your smash book or you can take it home with you later if you want to work on your smash book more at home um, but it's just so fun because it's basically everything that you would see at a craft store or a scrapbook specialty store and but you just get to like dig through it and pick out whatever you want and then to top it all off there's also going to be giveaways throughout the whole night, and um, we have tons of fun sponsored giveaways. So you can, um, we'll be drawing your names, and you could win anything from jewelry to more like Smash products or um, 
I mean, there's tons and tons of giveaways. And then you just get to hang out with no kids or babies and um, socialize and eat treats and just have a really good time. And um, so anyways, I'm really excited about it. The Utah one is going to be this Saturday, December 8th in Provo. And then the Arizona one is next Saturday, December 15th in Mesa. And I will post a link below if I can with um, information on both. So if you want to buy a ticket, you can because I think there's still some left. And I hope you guys come. And for those of you that already bought tickets, I'm so excited to hang out with you. And I'm so sorry that this video is so long. I will stop right now. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully you learned something and you all should be Smashbook fans like me because I'm a diehard and I love them. And that's it. And I'm sorry that it was so long. We'll talk to you later. Bye.